Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Caroline Makes Cards. Today's card features Simon Says Stamps Be a Mermaid in a pretty watery background. Apparently, I seem to be on the slimline bandwagon these days, and so here we go with another one. It is pretty hard to resist making this style of card when using Pink Fresh Studio series of dies for slimline cards. Creating layered backgrounds has never been easier. So speaking of backgrounds, let's get started. I start off by die cutting Bristol Smooth cardstock with the middle die from Pink Fresh Studio Slim Ornate Banner. This die is plain. The other two have a dotted detail edge. The background on this panel is created using an ink smooshing technique. I'm working with Distress Oxide inks, Shaded Lilac, Peacock Feathers, Cracked Pistachio, and Faded Jeans. I prefer to work with the colors one at a time. The ink is laid down on the media mat, spritzed with a little bit of water, and then I try to distribute it evenly across the panel. I use my heat tool to speed up the drying process. The entire panel is repeatedly stamped with the Wave in Versamark ink and embossed in white. I chose to do my stamping with an acrylic stamping block. This stamping aid with its little sponge feet allowed me to not only line up the waves on my panel, but also to stagger them so that they didn't have a uniform appearance. At this stage, the appearance is quite subtle, and so I do have to work one wave at a time embossing it before I can proceed to the next one. A couple of sections for each of the waves was painted using Windsor and Newton's gouache white paint. This watercolor paint is opaque. It is the perfect choice for highlighting these waves against the light watery background. I did water down the paint a little bit so it would have a bit of translucency. It was still opaque enough that it provided some definition to the waves without being stark white. This helped keep the appearance of the background nice and soft without anything jumping out at you. Watering down the gouache paint a little bit more, I used my smallest paintbrush to tap on fine spatter across the panel. Next, I stamped the two mermaid tails on Bristol Smooth cardstock with Versamark ink. I embossed them with white embossing powder. It certainly was challenging to see them initially. To paint them, I had to hold the cardstock and tip it towards the light so I could see the shine of the embossed lines. The inks used in the background were also used to paint the mermaid tails. I began by applying the lightest color. On one tail I used shaded lilac. The other one was painted with cracked pistachio. Shading details for the green tail were added in with peacock feathers. For the lilac colored mermaid, definition was added using faded jeans. I find that this ink doesn't blend particularly well with the addition of water. To get around this, I initially would apply some concentrated ink to the area that I was shading. Applying ink that was watered down a little bit more would help soften that edge. Most of the areas that I was working in within each image were so small that I didn't worry really too much about this. After some very short drying time, each of the images were fussy cut right along the embossed line. I wanted the mermaid tails to be truly diving into the water. To do this, I used a straight edge and an X-Acto knife to cut a slit just slightly wider than the width of the tail. To protect my glass media mat, I'm working directly on one of the plates from my die cutting machine. After both of the mermaid tails are positioned on the panel, I'm ready to attach them. A little bit of white glue is used to hold the tail in place on the back of the panel. White foam adhesive squares are used on the fins of the tail 
to provide a little bit of lift and dimension. White sheet foam cut with the same die as the panel is attached. This dimensional panel is then attached to some blue cardstock that has been die cut with the largest of the Pink Fresh Studio Slim Ornate Banner die set. The now layered panel is adhered to a card base that measures 4 inches by 9 inches. Because there doesn't seem to be any consistency regarding the size of the slimline cards, I choose these dimensions because I just find them easier to work with, and they fit in the envelope. For the cute sentiment, Positive Mermaid Vibes, I begin by stamping it on light blue cardstock with Versamark ink. After applying the white embossing powder, I use a small brush to remove the powder from the words positive and vibes. In this way, only the word mermaid will be embossed. I do this two times so I end up with a finish that is nice and smooth and slightly dimensional. The words positive and vibes are stamped with black versifying ink. Working on one word at a time, Mermaid is masked off, ink applied, the post-it tape removed, and then stamped. I then use my guillotine cutter to get straight edges that follow the lines of the words positive and vibes. I fussy cut around the word Mermaids where it extended beyond the other two words. The sentiment was mounted on white sheet foam. As I cut it out, I slightly undercut so I didn't have to be so precise. After the sentiment was mounted to the panel, I adhered several iridescent sequins. To really bump up that shimmer factor, both of the mermaid's tails were painted with Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard. This dries clear and adds a very sparkly effect. At the last minute, I decided to add the die cut sending to the card. There they were, all three of the die cuts just sitting on my desk ready to be used. The word fit perfectly with the sentiment, so I stacked it, painted it with Nouveau Glitter Drops, and then mounted it to the top of the card. As I seem to routinely do now, all of the sequins were topped off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. And that finishes up this card featuring Simon Says Stamps, Be a Mermaid, on a layered background using Pink Fresh Studios Slim Ornate Banner Die Set. As always, I appreciate your visit. Thank you very much.